Well, I want to share with you another water sample that I collected today, and uh, not only that, uh, the power of the centrifuge, that's the title of this video that uh, I might give. Uh, yeah, today I want to share with you another water sample here. Look, uh, plenty of cells are visible here, lots of bacteria, protozoans, also algae. And I used a centrifuge uh, to concentrate that sample uh, because uh, the water sample itself, even though it looked very green, the cells uh, th that were in there were not concentrated enough. Uh, so I've uh, placed the water sample for five minutes into my centrifuge and uh, I have resuspended the pellet. It's the little green concentrated uh, thing that collected on the bottom of the tube. Um, that's uh, the pellet and uh, I resuspended it and put it under the microscope. And this this is what I got here and uh, actually I'm quite a little bit uh, surprised maybe or happy rather that um, so many cells actually survived uh, this uh, procedure. Um, yeah, it's uh, not a very fast centrifuge, it's around 4,500 rotations per minute. So the forces, the g-forces exerted on those cells were not uh, that high um, Yeah, and therefore many of them survived uh, this process and it's basically where we are. So I think a centrifuge uh, like this uh, is actually a pretty good investment. Um, and it's also then not necessary to filter the water um, to uh, concentrate uh, the cells yet further. We're now looking at it using my 60 times uh, objective. Let's uh, go down a little bit with the magnification. Yeah, this is now 40 times and here we have a slightly better overview yeah, of uh, the different cells uh, that are present. Yeah, so essentially many of them are celebrating a party here. Just wanted to, to share that uh, with you um, a little bit. Uh, hope you enjoy these videos. Happy microbe hunting and uh, hope to see you again in the next video. Bye-bye.